Hello, hello! Welcome back to my YouTube channel and my couch is my background. <laughs> You're gonna have to put up with it until I figure out a system of where I'm gonna film stuff in my in my house. Um, but today's video, you requested it, um, is what is in my makeup bag. So I'm gonna take you through all my makeup that's in my makeup bag. There's not that much. I don't wear a lot of makeup, um, but I wanted to share with you because a lot of you always ask um, and I wanted to make sure that I delivered and told you. <laughs> what is in the makeup bag? Dun dun dun. <laughs> okay, first up is um, the Mecca Max Primer. It's absolutely stunning. It's an illuminating, illuminating primer. <laughs> okay, I'm um, not even going to cut that. That's just going to stay in. And then it's just got this amazing shimmer. Like, look at that. It's just really good. Obviously, I put way too much on there. I'm not a makeup artist, I told you this. <laughs> you're, you're following the wrong channel. <laughs> um, and next then, what the hell? Next up is my foundation. I recently found this. It's Studio Fix Fluid um, by MAC Cosmetics in NC30. Um, I got it a little bit darker when I had a fake tan because I do get quite brown in summer and we're coming into summer. So this is going to be Perfect for bronzer and blush. I've always used NARS, always, um, hence why it's nearly empty and it needs it. Um, this one is in Laguna. It's quite popular. I know a lot of um, people have this, um, but NARS in Laguna. And then NARS in Orgasm. They do have another one that's really shimmery and I accidentally got that once and it's got way too much shimmer, but this is just the natural one. This is a fresh one, so it's also pretty. <laughs> But they're my go-to bronzers and blushes. For concealer, at the, currently at the moment, I'm using Charlotte Tilbury's uh, The Retoucher Conceal. Um, it's kind of nearly finished, as you can see. So I might look to get another brand um, or trial another brand or just get this one in maybe a different shade because I'm coming into summer. This is kind of a winter shade and it doesn't really match the new foundation I've got. Um, but yeah, this is the Charlotte Tilbury The Retoucher. My mascara, I did get sent this from Mecca Max, but I really do enjoy wearing it. Um, I do get my eyelashes tinted, so I don't really tend to wear mascara in summer, um, but it's got the two ends here, which is really good, really handy, um, and I've really loved using this. Also, this brand called Aiko, I don't have it with me at the moment, I need to go get it, um, but they do a really good waterproof mascara. Um, and I need to go get it. But that was something that was really, really good. I don't wear eyeliner. I do not like eyeliner. It just came with it. So, but they make my eyes really squinty when I wear eyeliner. I just don't like it. <laughs> just to finish everything off, I do like a little bit of a glow and dewy look. I don't like matte. Um, is this uh, Fix Face uh, Mist by MAC Cosmetics. Um, it just makes me feel like I've just had a day at the beach and it's glowing and it's... <sighs> I don't know what that is, but you know what I mean. It's not matte. It's got that dewy look, and I that's what I really like. I told you I'm not a makeup artist. This is really hard for me. <laughs> the thing I'm not a massive fan of is lip liner. I tend to, when I get my makeup done by makeup artists, they always put lip liner on, but I always try and say, no, please don't. Um, but I do like really natural shades of lipstick. This one is the MAC Cosmetics in Velvet Teddy. She put this on me last week, and I really liked it, so I thought I would share it with you. Um, it's that color, but it doesn't it, it really does look like my lips and then I put over um, the my favorite glossier um, Balm.com. I think it's called that. Yep. Balm.com. I go through so much of this and I also got the coconut flavored one in New York But you can't get that scent here. Um, you could only get it when I was there and I wish I got more of it But that is my favorite There's some other products that I use that are in my beauty kind of routine um, my favorite perfume is the La Libo, the Noir 29. That is my go-to. And then for when I'm traveling or in all of my handbags, it's even in Shane's gym bag because he loves it so much, is the Bayerudu uh, Gypsy Water. So I just have uh, that one in my handbag pretty much all the time. Um, I've been getting fake tans a lot lately as well. Um, so I find my face fades a lot quicker, obviously, because scrubs and facial cleansers and all that kind of stuff. So I've been using this um, bronzing face sheet mask and it has been amazing. So I've just been using Saint Tropez. That's what I use for my spray tan when the lady does it for me. So I found this is the most natural for me. Um, it's trial and error, but Saint Tropez has always been my kind of go-to fake tan. Um, 
but yeah, so these is pretty much like your normal face mask. Obviously, you see there. Um, I leave it on for 10 minutes. Then you just leave it, remove it, massage it in, wash it off. Like you do with a sheet mask. Um, and it just obviously kind of makes me look like I'm even. <laughs> um, and then when I want to prolong the tan, just in case I get the fake tan on Monday and I, I need it always through the week, um, I just use heaps of moisturizer. I just use Vaseline. That's the only moisturizer I tend to use. Um, and I use this Saint Tropez bronzing mist. So I just put it on for an hour um, just to kind of prolong my tan so I don't have to keep getting them done throughout the day. And that, my friends, is my makeup, self tanner, perfume go-tos. Like I said, I am not a beauty blogger, but a lot of you asked what was in my makeup bag, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below um, any of your go-tos or any recommendations that you think that I might like. Um, and make sure you subscribe because I'm going to be doing some giveaways um, in the next couple of weeks just for my YouTube subscribers. So please give it a like, please subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time.